Hey guys, so I've been playing some more of the Hunter Classic. As you can see, I have a crossbow now. And that is because I decided to spring for it and use real money to buy game currency. I know that's kind of a dumb thing to do, but um, I've already killed five bucks with it and it's in silent, so I don't have to worry about the animals running off. So I've just pretty much been hanging out in this tower waiting for bucks to come along. Is that a buck? You don't get money from females, so. Or from does, so I'll just have to wait. So I'm currently on White Heart Island. Oh, there. oh, there he is. All right, let's take this dude out. Order up and aim. Wait for him to move because his head is behind a tree, and so is his chest, so I can't really hit him anywhere. All right. Wait for him to get in a better position, and then... Really? Survive that? Impressive. Alright. And apparently they do notice if you miss. Or maybe it didn't hit him and it just... went through like a leg or something. I should've just waited for him to get closer. Alright, well that sucked. Screw it, let's actually do something instead of... That's the first time I missed with this thing. Pretty good. It doesn't. It, I don't have a scope yet, but oh, we did hit him. All right. How far do you think he made it? Well, that's earlier. There's a bobcat around here. All right. Well, he clearly didn't make it far. If the shot, if the blood came from his body, then it's extremely unlikely that it made he made it very far. Coyote. There was a coyote in this direction. This is probably the best hunting position. Alright. Oh wait, is that him right there? That might be him. Oh, let's see. Nope, that's not him. It's more footprints. How is it diff a doe that came in? I can't believe that dude survived. If you got hit in the body, it's in. I mean, considering the area, he must have. Really got smacked near the chest there. Unless the shot like went through his head and into his body or something like that. Uh -oh. Let's see if we can find anything. Is this more coyote? Yeah. They were they were in some pretty big packs just wandering around in the fields. I should buy some more crossbow bolts. So that I have a, a higher amount. Alright, so we're in the lower half of White Heart Island right now. Um, this is the area we have to work with. I've been killing left and right. Here we go killing again, haha. -ha. But uh, that's the first shot I've missed with the crossbow. I tried it out in the target range, it's kind of interesting. Because it, depending on how far away you are, you know, it could go... You saw the site had three parts, so... So yeah, um, then the arrow travel, the arrow, if it's a close target, then the arrow's gonna most likely hit on the top one. If it's medium, it's gonna hit the second. Ooh, dear. White tail, and it's that way. Well, let's see if we can lure it over. Is that too far? Yeah, it's too far. It was like right here. Yeah, alright. Let's see if we can lure it in. No. The deer call that I currently have will draw in more than just deer. It can draw in predators as well, for obvious reasons. Is that just rock? Yeah, I don't have a scope on my crossbow, because scopes are specific to weapons sometimes. In this case, there is crossbow-specific weapons, which kind of sucks. Did I reload? Yeah, alright. I, I guess I should probably head back and just... Did you hear that? I could have sworn I heard some footsteps. Alright, well maybe we should go out. I know I can hunt birds. Like, the great thing about... Part of the reason why I sprung for a crossbow is because you can hunt anything except werewolves, which apparently exist in the game. I don't know... I don't know how you find a werewolf, but you can hunt um, any animal. You can... 
it's silent, so you can shoot several without the others noticing, which is pretty effective. I've done that several times. Um, as well as you can... I mean, the range isn't great, but that's partially because I only have the base scope, see? And that's not... or the sight, rather. It's not really that good for long-range shots, I don't think. I mean, it's a great sight, like, it, the reticle's great and feels like it would be pretty accurate if you were to shoot at something far away, but... <coughs> it's something I would have to test. Right, let's figure out what we're gonna do here. Maybe we fast travel back to the top half here? No, this is a multiplayer server. Nobody's joined for some reason. Might be because it's 7, but then you'd expect more people. But I drew uh, pathways between like all the different places so that if people did join, they'd kind of be able to plan a route. Um, so you can, I guess I might as well do it here too. Like so. And then, I guess we can connect them all together. That's a campsite. I could travel there using camp supplies, but I don't really want to. So that's like to indicate the fast travel. Here we go. So now we have a full like map laid out. Here we go. I didn't really think that one through, did I? It's whatever. All right. Maybe we should fast travel back up to the mainland. No, I kind of like it down here. I'm just coyotes and bobcats and stuff down here which you don't find up there. Well you can but they're a lot more rare. You know maybe we should go hunting turkey. That would be fun. Mm, I don't know how effective it would be though. I mean like so I played a little while ago I had a friend named Dioperp well, a person named Diopope. I think that's his, how you pronounce it, his name. But he has a ton of... He has high hunter level. My guess is either he played the, ga the game for ages or he actually did buy things with real money. Um, but he... We went on hunting trips together and he has a compound bow. And so we just hunted a ton. It was pretty fun. Alright, I'm on fast travel. Up here... Yes, sir. Alright, and let's just, while we're here, um, switch around some of our weapons. Alright, so let's toss this out here. Because I realize now that the uh, crossbow is kind of a close range weapon, so that'll be my long range. I don't have any more arrows, but I guess I can... Well, no, I'd have to restart the server anyway, so... Let's see, let's just go on the, uh, oops, wrong one. Right, let's go over to the pistol range, so I can kind of show you how weird the sights on this thing are. It was night when I tested it, so it'll be a little easier here. See, that went way over. Oh wait, no it didn't. I did hit it. At 27 meters, apparently. Here, let's try and hit the 45 meter one. This is how high the How Ridiculous Boys drop their items. Oh, I hit it smack dab in the center. Alright. I mean, with the scope, this thing will be great, but I don't have a scope, so... And I'm gonna have to buy it, which is gonna be hella expensive. failed. Still hit it a bit better. It takes ages to reload, but it's worth a little bit higher performance. Alright, um, what do we want to do? 
we go to the center and then here. I don't know. Actually, no, it's screwed. Let's restart the server. Uh, I'm getting tired of copying and pa of retyping my um, description. So I'm actually going to copy it now. Um, Alright, let's go to the store and grab myself another bundle of arrows. Or maybe even two more. It's really cheap, so. These ones. I will buy. And then I will buy another. So that way I'll be able to kill 30 things as long as I don't miss over the course of a single hunt. Great. Alright. Hunt now. Multiplayer game. Oops. Let's go to one of the different areas. Who knows? Maybe my friend here. My friend will be online. That wasn't supposed to. <laughs> half wolves is his. Alright. Half wolves game. Let's just see if Nano's online. Nobody's online. Oh, never mind. People are online. That was just down the list. Nano is not online. You know, I don't know if anybody really has this game. There he is. Send message. Oh, yeah. I did kill this colossal elf. Elf. Elk. Here. Check this out. Frickin' 323 kilograms. It's a pretty big elk. And that was at 11 meters, which is pretty good. Um, I can't remember for how much it sold for. I think that's how much. So it was actually, I guess it is kind of small for an elk. I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. But, alright, we're zoomed out. Let's scroll down here so we can actually see the map. Alright. Now, where can I hunt me some other stuff and things? Darkwood Lodge. What do we get? What can we hunt here? Black bear, elk, black tail, white tail. That kind of sucks. Um, here? White tail and moose. That's it. I guess I could try that. But I think I'm good. Alright. There are two exclamation marks on the map. I guess you can't see it until you're actually in game. But they're there. Oh, you can see him in this area, which I I made a server in this area, which it's actually not too bad of a place. Let's see, where else can I go? I can head up way up in the Arctic. Whoa, did that say polar bear? It did. Arctic fox, polar bear, doll sheep, snow goose. I've never I've never hunted any of those things, which is cool. All right, bison. Sitka deer, moose, doll sheep, snow goose. I've followed moose before, but I've never got close enough to see one. Mule deer, Rocky Mountain elk, grizzly bear, gray wolf. I think I have a mission for... I think I might have a mission for... For grizzlies. Available? Alright, let me activate all these. Oh, oh, this is how missions work. So they'll restock after you've gotten more missions. Alright, so let's just take all of these freaking things. Can a can a moose, can a goose. Airborne is optional. That's hilarious. Between the two. That's hilarious. Alright. Let's activate all these. Spot a bison. I don't know where I'd find one of those. Boar. Rabbits. Mule deer. Oh. I've ever done this. Well, now that I know that... Now I know that these will restock, I should really... Identify the call of Sitka deer. 
The Sasquatches have moved in and the Sitka deer have become an all-you-can-eat buffet. Go out and make sure that there's still some left. By identifying the column, that's it. Alright. That'll actually be pretty easy. Maybe we'll go out to the Arctic area and see what's up there. It's going to be pretty snowy and very unfamiliar and I'll probably get spotted pretty quickly because I don't have anything white. I have I have clothes that are white or I have clothes that are uh, anti-cold, but I don't have That is a lot of options. so many right there's a lot of here talking about arctic stuff so I guess we'll head up there wait a heart island coyotes spot a coyote that's really easy That's a piece of cake. 30 meters. You want me to use a shotgun to kill moose? Alright. Another northern one. Start at Copper Tarp Large. Alright. Then arrive at Tower 3. Then arrive at Grinilfsten. That's a place, I assume. ID droppings for moose, ID tracks, ID a clue from reindeer, and spot a reindeer. So reindeer do exist in some northern area. <laughs> that made it sound like I th didn't believe that reindeer exist just because of Santa. No, that's, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant at all. On the matter of pigs, oh my gosh, there's so many guys. I can't believe this. Just give them all. Is there a way to do like take all or something? It's not looking like it. Males have the antlers. Male Rocky Mountain Elk. I've done that. I need tracks from Red Kangaroo. I don't I guess I haven't seen it, but there's probably a desert area. That would actually be pretty fun. I'm not really feeling tromping around in snow and freezing my ass off. All right. So where is the where is this Arctic area? Oh, there's some down here too. Stretches all over the place. Jeez. Alright, but here's... Is this like the North Pole? Is this an entire planet? It's a small planet, but it feels that way. Alright. And that's where I would find the red kangaroo. And this is where I would find sambar deer, water buffalo. And yeah, that's nothing that I know. I'm thinking we go Arctic. Seems the simplest way. Alright, which one of these is the lodge? In fourth. After land. Neither one. Alright. Interesting. Alright, well, let's go this one then. This is a big map, I have a feeling. Alright, let's try it. Never did did get there, though. Really do be like that, though. Alright. A deer or a female deer. Alright. And it does have trees. Okay. I was kind of worried it would just be like an art, a barren Arctic wasteland and there would be just nothing. There would just be like a flat plain with nothing there. And then you'd have to f you'd have to hunt over the snow dunes. Is, is that what you call it? A snow dune?
Okay, we're Oh, it's windy. I might stop the playing this mid recording and hop over on the CSGO. Alright, we're here. So yeah, this is kind of what I envisioned it as, except it has a little bit more space. Is this literally all there is here? A freaking tiny ass. Alright, it's not yeah, it is pretty tiny. It's a tiny shack. Alright. Oh, sound my feet making the sound. Really footprints? That'd be a nice touch. Alright, let's see what this place has to offer. Freezing to death, that's what it has to offer. Alright. It's interesting. Like, it's weird how you can see your body. But I'm not Alright, that was terrifying. It's roaming. That's the sound you make when you roam? Oh god, it's gonna be impossible marking things on the map. Oh god. Right here? Oh, that was spot on. Alright, let's go. I never done did hunt an arctic fox. We'll see how this goes. Oh yeah. Alright, and there we go. I already got something. Already. Piece of cake. Where are you at? I might uh, shoot this one with the good old rifle. It depends. If I can. Oops, too low. Alright, if I can crouch up on this ridge, I might be able to see it from here. I'm not seeing anything. Am I blind? I might be blind, but also it is white. So it's gonna be hard to spot. What was that? Is that just me? Am I freezing to death? Despite the winter gear? I mean, look at my gloves. Where are you at? I didn't even have to read all the missions to get one of the objectives completed. Load everything up. I don't know if I'm supposed to hunt an electric fox as part of that mission or not, but I do want to because I it's something I haven't hunted before, which makes me want to hunt it. I don't know how a fox is going to react. I don't even know what they are get really going to look like. I mean, obviously they're not going to be the red that normal foxes are, but... Yeah, there's like no cover out here. Oh, can I please get through here? Thank you. Nope, I'm stuck. Alright. Please, thank you. Alright. Then again, I guess it'll be easier to spot prey from out here, but then again it'll also be easier for it to spot me out here, so... I don't know if that's very true. I heard it. Why is my gun not loaded? I just loaded it. Does that mean that my crossbow is in there? Oh god. Oh, never mind it is. Alright. I heard footsteps. Maybe it's vision isn't that good. Maybe I'll see it a long time before it sees me. Or maybe it's already gone. <laughs> yeah, it kind of seems like it's gone. I'm gonna stand up. Amber wood. That's bad. 2007 Gold Honda Odyssey in Atlanta, Texas. Alright. It's a while away. Not gonna lie. Maybe I shoot it with my rifle. It's the more 
quick to load one, so. Wait, did you, s there's frost at the edges of my vision. Am I gonna freeze to death out? Who is that? I need that bad boy. All right, it's another fox. It's way out there. Guys, I think I'm gonna freeze to death before I can do anything. What do I do? Guys, help me! Can I crawl? That's not helping, all right. Maybe we should just get moving. Maybe you can't stay still for too long. That would make sense. It's pretty realistic. Ooh, there's something here. Is this a fox mark? Fox track? Whatever. Oh, yep. That's pretty. And it's fleeing. Alright, so that one saw me, but that's not the one that I heard. Because it's going the wrong direction. That was probably the one that I tracked first of all. Alright, is this more fleeing marks? Alright, I can't tell by looking at the marks. The problem here is with this- with, uh, less deer-like oh. animals, I'm gonna have a hard time identifying their gender. Is that a natural sound? Jesus. Alright, I got some arctic fox trails. What the fuck is that? It's not anything I can track, otherwise it would be popping up on my intimate. That is a terrifying sound. One of those just sounded like the Roblox oof sound. Right. That is really unsettling. I don't like it at all. There's a lot of tracks right here. Don't foxes travel alone though? So, uh, what's that? Oh, it's just a log. <laughs> oh my god. Is that a, what a goose sounds like? An Arctic goose? I mean, I guess not, because I would know. Who's that? Give me that. A sick deer. Oh, that's an objective complete. Wait, no. It was the, uh... That was the other type of deer. I think I'm gonna freeze to death out here. That's the fox that's roaming. I just heard running away sounds. Oh no, it was sick, Kadir. Alright. It's not really. Uh. It's some. It's, that's a hair, I think. Judging by the spacing between the steps, that's just a guess. <laughs> yep, I'm freezing. I just gotta keep moving. Yeah, I wonder where that hair is. It's gonna be a snowshoe hair. Yeah, like. No, I'm not an expert or anything, but judging by the sound of its footsteps, like the, the t -t, and then space, and then t -t, that's the kind of sound a hopping animal makes, and I doubt there are kangaroos out here. <laughs> All right, so the fox clearly saw me, and I didn't see it, so it's a thing. I wonder where this hair is. Assuming it's a hare, not a rabbit, but. Um, at the same time, there isn't too much of a difference besides- Well, there's probably, like, a ton of differences and people are gonna screech at me, but... Just by looks and stuff, I think I'll be able to tell the difference- Well, I won't be able to tell the difference between a hare and a rabbit that looks- Jesus Christ, what was that? A sheep? That's actually pretty close to right. I haven't heard sheep in real life, but I've heard recordings of sheep, and that is pretty close to what a sheep sounds like. somewhere. Let's see if I can hunt that. I don't think I'm equipped for this. Probably gonna freeze to death. And you can hear me making sounds of freezing. I guess at least my character doesn't sound like how I actually sound when I'm freezing in real life. You know, due to the fact that there's a lot of flat areas, the sound of gunshots is really gonna carry, so I'm gonna see if I can get closer to them. Actually, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Because I don't know what type they are. Unless I can use... Binox. They're cute! I think there's one actually right here. Yep. Alright, let's... Oh, that's a female. Oh well.
All right. And I did get a mission complete there. Oh, that's a deer over there. Oh, it saw me. All right. Oh, that's a. I know it. I know it's not a male, so I'm not gonna get any money. But well, actually, no, I am gonna get money because that's a mission complete. So. And I got an achievement for doing it. So yeah, a lot of things there. Oh, I can sell it. Huh. All right. Did you guys hear that? I could have sworn I just heard. Oh, that's me? Are you serious? Why do I keep trying to identify? I'm freezing. Alright, let's get moving. Do some jogging. Hopefully I don't scare anything away while I am. Well, I am because they're going to hear me. But it's, it's better lose a little bit of prey than freeze to death, so... Oh, that scared the hell out of me. That's... The deer make freaking terrifying sounds. Alright. Right there. Oof. I really am freezing, aren't I? Which means I can't really stay in one position. I wonder if there are even any watchtowers out here. If they are, if there are, I hope they have some freaking heaters. Anything would do. Man, if they were on fire, that would be fine. I'd rather lose a watchtower in a high position than freeze to death. Really, I'd rather do quite a few things in this game than freeze to death. Um, hey, I just realized that the sound that I heard earlier was, has stopped. A terrifying goose, barking dog, whatever the hell that was, it stopped. Oh god, it's getting cold. Oh no. Is, is the snow is getting worse. I'm gonna freeze to death out here. So no two ways about it. I mean, I guess if I had a med kit, I could probably resuscitate myself, but I didn't include that with my current loadout, so... I'm gonna freeze first. Whoa, there's a deer. Or a sheep, rather. Hold on, let's take a look. Right? Yep, that's a deer. Or a sheep. Man, even after correcting myself the first time, I still missed him. Alright, we gotta find somewhere to, like, I don't know if physical shelter will help me here, but I gotta do something, because the storm's coming in or something. It's getting scary out of here. You know, they should add the ability to, um, turn animal skins into pelts, into clothing and stuff, for warmth and protection. Like, it will take less damage from a from bears and stuff that want to kill you. Yeah, that, that was the one I spotted, I think. And come, to think about the fact that I'm not even as far north as you can go is kind of terrifying. Oh god, you can hear me breathing fast. I'm not doing so hot. I got frost creeping in. I mean, I know that like all games have the effect, but is there not a better way to represent freezing? Is there not something that people actually see in their vision, or some, or feel, or you could even do like frost slowly forming on the jacket, or the screen slowly dimming or something? I feel like there should be a way to like there should be um like very light form of crafting, like being able to turn like eat meat and uh, like I said earlier, turn fleece and skins into clothing. Something that would keep me alive. And that would actually be a pretty good aspect, because then you would have to slowly, slowly work your way north in order to hunt north, because you'd have to slowly kill more and more weather-shielded animals, until eventually you end up with, you know, polar bears and bunnies and stuff like that. Stuff that has coats designed to survive the cold, you know? It was really freaking barren out here. There's tracks everywhere. I'm probably scaring everything off. Let's see. No. Right, interesting. So we can tell where the giant groups of deer of sheep have been coming around. Look at that. 
on the Fox. All right, all right. Let's go freeze to death even further north. That's that was too far. Crap, wrong button. It was right there. All right, let's go. Yay, Tim freeze. I mean, the frost is going away, and the fact that it's getting hotter. Like the server start was at seven o'clock, so. It's only gonna get hotter out for the next couple of hours, so yeah, see it's 7.31 on my hunter it, so the fact that I started it early in the morning means that yeah, I'm gonna start freezing, but it looks but it's probably gonna pick up. And you can tell a little bit because the frost has creeped away a tiny bit, I think. I think? I can't really tell at this point. It moves so slowly. I wasn't even heading in the right direction. What is this? Is that just a log? I mean, I love the open plains because you can see animals from far away, but that also means they can see you. Like, the freaking deer that spotted me so far away that it was only a couple pixels. There was a deer in that clear in that area of trees right there? Or no, I think it was over there. And it freaking ran away before I, like, on when it only rendered as a couple pixels and I didn't even know it was a deer. It just vanished. Well, I saw it, like, recede on my screen. Row into two pixels and then one and then gone. So this is gonna be rough, but I'm just hoping we can survive out here. I wonder how if anybody's traversed the entire map for this, like gone around the entire edge. I know it's po it's possible because you can go between the areas. I'm pretty sure. Unless there's like fences or something, but I doubt it. I feel like you probably can go way out. And if you want to, you can travel the whole map, but I don't see a reason to, and you can just fast travel. That's funny. Alright, well, it is what it is. Man, I would love to find me something to keep me alive, though. That is an unnaturally white section of snow. I think it's just because it's reflecting the sun. But it looks like a solid white color, like it, like you just took it out of a color wheel. Oh, there you go. That's better now. Now that you can see the texture. Oh, that's a stick. I'm hallucinating now. I'm freezing. I'm freezing so badly. I'm hallucinating. What is that? Why am I pulling out? Uh, why am I trying to pull out my rifle every time? I think I spot something in the distance. It's got its scope sucks compared to the binoculars that I conveniently own. Like, what have I killed so far? A single sheep? That's it? Ugh. It's not good stuff. I mean, yeah, animals will run away. Like, the crossbow isn't per No weapon is perfect, because. If you kill an animal in front of another animal, then obviously one of them, the one who survives is going to run away. Obviously. It's not just going to stand there and watch the body collapse to the ground. Right, well, what am I going to do out here? Are those pixels? Alright, that's just some scuff marks on my screen. I was, I was thinking there was something over there. Yeah, it's just sticks. Mm. Dirt spots. Oh god, I shouldn't have stayed there. Look at that, the frost has touched on the edges. I'm done with everything. <coughs> well, this brings a little bit more of a realistic aspect to the game. The fact that I can definitely freeze to death when I'm not careful. I'm sure there are probably at least five animals that are within sight right now, but I can't see any of them because they're all white. Also very possibly rendered this- oh my gosh, look at that, the frost has creeped in further than the edges of my binocular lenses. I don't know if I'm gaining or losing any heat right now, but Hopefully it'll get warm enough where I can ha only ha where I only need to walk. Is that something? Or is that another stick? I mean, it could have been a deer with frost on its antlers. What am I gonna do out here? 
I mean, I can explore, but I don't really have much chance of scroll. I guess this is why there were so many missions. It's another freaking deer, are you kidding me? Alright, well it's not worth trying to track it. Even if it is male, it's not worth trying to catch. Let's see if it can see me. How far away can it see me from? About there. Alright. Well, see ya. You know, being able to make wool clothes would be an excellent part. If, if the game does get some sort of crafting for making clothes and stuff. Being able to freaking make wool clothing and clothing out of other animal skins and stuff. It will very likely save the lives of every arctic hunter. Can I go out on the freaking icebergs? I swear to god. I bet I can right and there's polar bears out there. Perfect. Let's do it. Alright, what kind of shells do I need? Alright, I'm using a rifle to... and crossbow, so... Neither one of those uses shotgun shells. Can I go out on these? It would be cool if I could. Oh, did you hear that? The sound changes. Yeah, it's, it's still snow, but it's it sounds more solid. Alright, well what am I gonna do out here? I can't see anything. There are still some crevices and stuff. Did you hear that? That doesn't sound like normal wind. I'm, d I'm, I just probably am gonna like fall into a hole in the ice, and just fall into the water and die. Because that is instant death, literally. Oh, look, actual ice. Can I break this? What was that? It was part of the map. Wait, this isn't even the worst it gets? Are you serious? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can go up freaking over here and I will freeze. Yes? Can you bring them with to me with a cup? What? Alright, well I have to get off. Let's see how quickly I freeze. Really? <laughs> Maybe I should head back to a lodge. Gee, you think? Let's just freeze myself to death. Mm, I just died. It's the second time I've died in this game. Well, let's fast travel here. Let's just hang out in there for you. Will our crossbow look all nice? Slot. Wait, what? I've already used seven arrows? On what? Whatever. Yeah, you know, I've only killed freaking one animal. Alright, well, I gotta go. I hope you guys enjoyed me watching me freeze my ass off. It really wasn't that exciting.